I uh, get up every night and I perform levitating on this while flying through the arena. Oh my god, that sounds like magic. And how many shows have you performed on your tour so far? I've done 23 shows out of 109. Almost a quarter done. And what is the first thing you do when you get to a new city? I love to find a good restaurant and a really fun dive bar. How would you describe the future nostalgia tour in your own words? The craziest thing I've ever done. What's been the most memorable show on the tour? You know, I do get spoiled almost every night, but I have to say MSG was a really special one for me. Love New York City. And how has your approach to touring changed since you first started? It's definitely not rock and roll. It's lots of sleep and lots of tea. Two very important activities. <laughs> what tip would you give to someone who's about to start their first ever tour? Uh, make sure you take some time for yourself um, to stay grounded in the midst of all this craziness. And what is your pre-show ritual? I do my dance warm-ups with my dancer Sharon, and then I do my vocal warm-ups with my backing vocalists. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have like a little fist pump handshake with my monitor engineer Alex, and then I'm off on stage. How is on-stage Dua different from Dua just hanging out? Pretty much the same, just a lot more adrenaline. When did you feel most vulnerable on stage? But I dropped my mic uh, at my show in Washington, D.C., and I was not prepared for that, so I think that was probably the most vulnerable moment. What's something people may not know about dancing during a performance? Well, I guess, you know, there's a lot of thinking with dancing and singing at the same time, but sometimes you're just thinking about what's for dinner. Now you have me thinking about dance moves. Hmm. What would you say is your most famous dance move? I think I'm just gonna have to show you that one. Um, and what does that mean? It means what's for dinner. What was for dinner? Lots of yummy stuff. My mum, uh, she's a great cook and she cooks amazing uh, traditional Albanian food. So I always look forward to it, especially after a long stint on tour. Oh, that's amazing. And what was the most important thing you learned after moving out of your parents' house? Uh, I learned how to cook and how to do my dishes and do my laundry. Those are important things to know. And how do you unwind after a performance? I'm still figuring it out. But do you want to follow me and I'll show you something really, really cool. I would very much love to see something cool. Now, Dua, what is the most important thing that travel can do for a person? I feel like it can really just uh, broaden your perspective and your horizons. Now, I need some travel racks. Where should I get the best coffee in New York City? Um, Ludlow Coffee Supply. I love a maple oat latte from there. Best fish and chips in London? Seashell of Lisson Grove. And since we're in Los Angeles right now, where can I see some good art around here? I really love the Broad and LACMA. I think they've got great exhibitions. Um, I feel very lucky to have this platform, and so I feel like I need to use it for something that's way bigger than me. Makes sense. And what's the cause that's on your mind right now? I'm actually currently working with the activist Nadia Murad hmm. um, and trying to find out ways on how we can help the Yazidi community. Who inspires you politically? King Bernie. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to set the record straight on? A lot of people ask me if Dua Lipa is my real name, and it is. Noted. And do you have any newer rules that you would like to add to the new rules that you had before? <laughs> yes. Um, make sure you give your friends your phone on a drunk night out so you don't end up drunk calling someone a million times. That's right. And what's one question you're tired of being asked? Are you ready? And last question, question number 73. For everyone watching at home, what is the definitive answer to the question, are you ready? Always. And I'm ready for your performance. Excited to see you on stage. Mwah.